You are listening to KSG podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about income eligibility limit for EWS. Source for the content is K. Venkat Ramanan's article for the Hindu. The story so far: the union government has decided to revisit the criteria set out for eligibility for its 10% reservation under the economically weaker sections, that is EWS category, within a month. The main criterion is a family income ceiling of 8 lakh rupees. The decision came after the Supreme Court closely questioned it on how it arrived at the income figure while considering a challenge to the implementation of 27% reservation for the other backward classes and 10% for the EWS under the All India Quota for Medical Admissions. The 10% reservation was introduced through the 103rd Constitution Amendment and enforced in January 2019. It added clause 6 to Article 15 to empower the government to introduce special provisions for the EWS. US among citizens except those in the classes that already enjoy reservation it allows reservation in educational institutions both public and private whether aided or unaided excluding those run by minority institutions up to a maximum of 10% it also added clause 6 to article 16 to facilitate reservation in employment the new clauses make it clear that the EWS reservation will be in addition to the existing reservation the constitution initially allowed special provisions only for the socially and educationally backward classes when the congress government tried to introduce a 10% quota for the poorer among the general category the supreme court struck it down saying there is no provision in the constitution for reservation on the basis of an economic criterion through this amendment the government introduced the concept of economic backwardness for a new class of affirmative action programs for those not covered by or eligible for the community based quotas The main criterion is that those above an annual income limit of 8 lakh rupees are excluded that is income from all sources such as salary business agriculture and profession for the financial year prior to the application of the family family includes applicants their parents siblings and minor children possession of any of these assets too can take a person outside the EWS pool five or more acres of agricultural land a residential plot of 1000 square feet and above a residential plot of 100 square yards and above in notified municipalities and a residential plot of 200 square yards and above in other areas the court has been intrigued by the income limit being fixed at 8 lakh rupees per year as it is the same figure for excluding the creamy layer from obc reservation benefits a crucial difference is that those in the general category to whom the ews quota is applicable do not suffer from social or educational backwardness unlike those classified as the obc therefore the question the court has raised is that when the obc category is socially and educationally backward and therefore has additional impediments to overcome would it be arbitrary to provide the same income limit both for the obc and ews categories in line with the supreme court's known position that any reservation or norms for exclusion should be based on relevant data The bench wants to know whether the criteria for the EWS were arrived at based on any study. For instance, whether the per capita income or GDP in all states or the difference in purchasing power in the rural and urban areas were taken into account when a single income limit was formulated for the whole country. There are other questions as to whether any exercise was undertaken to derive the exceptions such as why the flat criterion does not differentiate between metropolitan and non-metropolitan areas. Now what is the current state of the EWS quota the reservation for the EWS is being implemented by the union government for the second year now recruitment test results show that the category has a lower cut off mark than the OBC a point that has upset the traditional beneficiaries of the reservation based on caste the explanation is that only a small number of people are currently applying under the EWS category one has to get an income certificate from the revenue authorities and therefore the cut off is low however when the number picks up over time the cut off marks are expected to rise the ews quota remains a controversy as its critics say it reduces the size of the open category besides reaching that's it for this podcast thank you so much for listening to join ksg india courses and to crack the ias exam visit ksgindia.com you can also get a pdf of this podcast on ksgindia.com thanks for listening and do subscribe to our channel